graduate from his university. For a long time, he had admired a beautiful sports car in a dealer showroom and knowing that his father could very well afford it. He told his father that was all he wanted. As the graduation day approached, the young man began looking sights. That his father has bought the car. Finally, in the morning of his graduation, his father called him in his study and told him how proud he was to have such a fine son and how much he loved him. He gave his son a beautiful gift box. Curious but somewhat disappointed, the young man opened the box and found a lovely leather bond Bible with his name Impossible. He raised his voice to his father. With all your money, you gave me a Bible and stormed out of the house, leaving the Bible. Many years passed and the young man was very successful in his own business. He had a beautiful home and a wonderful family. But he realized that his father was very old. Perhaps he should go to him since he has not spoken to him since last that graduation day. Before he could make any arrangements, he got a telegram telling him that his father has passed away and built all his possessions to his son. So he need to come home and take care of things. As the young man arrived at his father's home, sadness and regret filled his heart. He started sorting papers of his father and found the still new Bible, just as he has left. Years ago, with tears in his eyes, he picked up the Bible and started to read its pages. His father has carefully underlined a words, Matthew 7, 11, and if you give your children good gifts, because the heavenly Father, which is in heaven, will help those who ask him. Reading those words, Suddenly, a car came dropped from the back of the Bible. It had a tab of the dealer's name and the date of his graduation. These words were very painful. Moral of the story? How many times we have missed our blessings because they are not packed in a way we expect? Many times I think we should value all the things our parents give us because some not even get that. Beautiful gifts do not come in beautiful packets, but surely with beautiful blessings. Thank you.